fuck me. It's about time to take Jane upstairs. Do you know what's weird? Been here with you and Robbie's when all those times you come into the bar with Jane, you, you wouldn't say a word. It's like you're a real person now. Well, almost. Yeah. I guess it's kind of weird that they've just left us. Wait a second. Have you wrote a book? What's that about? Well, it's kind of difficult to summarise, but if you really want to know, it's kind of a first person account of somebody taking care of their father after a stroke. Kind of dark, but it's based on personal experience. But it shifts around a lot, so you start to see everything from the point of view of the father. Do you want some? Um, sure. <laughs> but some other stuff happens, parallel narratives, and then it evolves and de-evolves into a sort of mystery with no real resolution. Far out, man. Crazy getting published, really. I've got this fucking paper due in on Friday, and as usual, I've freaked out and left it to last minute. And... The paper? Yeah, yeah. I'm doing horticulture at uni, and the paper's fucking killing me. I didn't even know our university did horticulture. Why? <laughs> it's because of my grandfather, I'm telling you. As a kid, I used to visit his vineyard every summer back in Italy, and you know, the knowledge he had of wine, and <sighs> I just fell in love with it all. But he's gone now, with the vineyard. And I guess I'm just trying to get back into doing something I love. Antonio, I'm so sorry. But you can get your own vineyard one day. And then I bet your grandfather would be really proud of you. Wow, the, the taste of this really is starting to open up. <laughs> what do you think? Well, I didn't exactly grow up in a wine farm, but from what I can tell, it's it's pretty good wine. Can I ask you a personal question? Yeah. Do you even like wine? Well, I mean. I don't know, most people our age don't like or even get every bottle of wine, but we can learn a lot from each bottle by taking time to understand it. It's like this wine, for example. It's a hard grape to grow, to control. And although it's thick skinned and hard and intense, it's still not a survivor like other wines. It can't just survive. The environment. We all need care and attention and even trust to be able to grow. It's like this one. It can only truly evolve with the most patient, nurturing growth. And only then can it be tapped into our most physical, delicate quality. But it's not the one we've got right here, right now. It's about being lived. So sharing an experience through us, being enjoyed, alive, being loved. Do you still mean wine, Antonio? How about you? What about me? Are you into wine? I suppose so. I got really into wine when I was with my ex and he was a bit of a wine fanatic like you. I feel like I've got a really unique taste, but I do like the way it makes me think when I drink it. Yeah? Like what? Like what a dick he was. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do like to think about the life of wine and how it got to where it is right now. I like to think about what was going on the year the grapes were growing. Was there happiness from the sun or was there rain? What did they feel? Because our wine, our life, our love is it's actually about living, being alive, like you said. Oh, from over there? 
Yeah, I think so. 